The beautiful Adele going to help me sing happy birthday to my daughter, K-Bug. Do a little hashtag MRA stuff. You know, I wish I didn't have to sing Adele. I wish I could just call my children up and take them out to eat. They're beautiful, healthy, uh, happy children. Um, well, I haven't seen them in three years. And so here we go. I'm going to talk about something I care a lot about. I love you, K-Bug, J-Bug. Got to make these videos good. I can't start crying. Sometimes the truth of music. The beautiful Adele. All right, that's what I wonder. Hashtag MRA. That's what a lot of men are asking themselves is when will they see their children again? And, you know, I wanted to... Um, there's always this fine line between um, how much I want to talk about the, the men's rights movement, but then, you know, when you have your daughter's birthday and you can't even call her, you realize that, you know, I bet you there's a lot of other men that are going through this. And 67,000, almost 68,000 men. Now, this is the Texas Father's Rights Facebook page. It's basically just a bitch page where they're on here talking about the needs for equal parenting. I'm like, well, Fibonacci, if you want to invite Fibonacci, He's going to talk about how do we get 2503 in force. And Texas Criminal Code 2503 uh, is a law that is not enforced. In fact, you can just Google Texas Criminal Code 2503, and you can solve this problem for 67,000 men. Oh, put me in there, so that's what, 68,000? The problem is men don't have equal protection, equal rights in their civil cases. So here we go. This is for my daughter. Beautiful, beautiful K-Buggy. I'm going to talk about stages of grief real briefly. I've gone through them all. And this has been a really difficult trial. You know, in my own, uh, I never thought I would even be a, a, a hashtag MRA or a men's rights activist. I never thought I would talk about 2503. I never thought I would be a, a Fibonacci. I never thought I'd be rhyming and ciphering on a beautiful YouTube but it's my daughter's birthday. That was my last vacation with her. The problem is, you know, they're alive, they're beautiful, they're healthy, I think. I just can't see them because, well, because I went through a custody dispute. And 2503 is the epicenter of that problem. And, you know, if, my, if all my Fibonacci's can together advance the importance of Texas Criminal Code 2503 and help 68,000 other men, and just think how long it takes for laws to change, um, you know, and think of how many people, 68,000 families could represent. We're talking about hundreds of thousands of people, and that's just Texas. That's just Texas. And you're like, holy shit, maybe there's a mission here, and maybe I need to hopefully do a good job here. There's my uh, Christmas card I got from my daughter once. She goes, with lots of love, Daddy. I remember when I represented myself in Mill Shoe. I couldn't even... Um, show the jury that my daughter sent me a Christmas card saying, with lots of love. I was divested of counsel in a town called Milshoe, Texas, and I fought for my, my family. This is from the Ogallala Aquifer. Check it out. This picture is from the National Geographic. They're doing a piece on the Ogallala Aquifer, and they're talking about what happens when the water is gone. Love that picture. And the Ogallala Aquifer, uh, it goes from Texas to New Mexico, and it's where West Texas gets their water. And so it's a really big deal. So when it's, when it's gone, it's gone. And Milshoe, there's a little 103-year-old community out there. And in the National Geographic, they talk about Milshoe, Texas. I said, well, there are some beautiful pictures, and that represents the storm that I see happening uh, in the Texas civil system. All right, so let me show you some specifics. Maybe I could even help some other men. Men, remember, I, I offer a uh, father's rights kit, and it's basically me reducing my, not just my story, but all this, this. These are all the codes that you hope are followed in your divorce. And if you don't know this, if you don't know all these, if you don't know, like, for example, do you know this? 156.405, that just because her needs increase... That doesn't warrant an increase in your obligation. Did you know that? Well, if you had my father's rights kit, you would. 
you would also know that child support needs to be held uh, or needs to be needs to take into account your ability to pay. And if you can, and if and if her receipts create a financial hardship for you, well, remember gender is a federally protected status. And see, these are the things that I would include in my divorce kit. So if you're a man, you want to actually keep your children. You don't want to make hashtag MRA videos. You would like to uh, take vacations. You would like to see your children, call them on their birthday. If you, if, if you don't ever want to know what an interlocutory order is, you don't ever want a closed out CPS letter, then buy my father's rights kit. By the way, what's a ruled out letter? Check this out. See, 70% of divorces and divorce modifications, 70% of them have false abuse allegations that will destroy your life, but once you're proven and fit, she can get whatever she wants. You know, it's really interesting is my ex-wife literally told somebody that her desire was to reduce my ex-husband's visitation time. You know, my ex-wife, she, she just, you gotta know her. She'll literally go tell a PhD and she'll say, you know, I just, if we could just like not have to honor any of his weekends and not give him any time, and could I have $2,000 a month? My ex-wife is literally the type that will do that and get that. The problem is not my ex-wife. It's that Texas 2503 is not enforced. The problem is if there's a Texas civil system that's taking children from their fathers and creating a legacy of fatherless children. Skinner. Who's Skinner? Skinner's another PhD that was supposed to handle my uh, court-ordered visitation. Well, it's been three years and she hasn't initiated a single visitation. So what do I do? 2503 is not enforced. My court-ordered visitor person doesn't even schedule a visit. So my cho I'm now at three years. Did you know you could lose your children all through a civil custody dispute? Do you know that? Well, you know it now. Fibonacci. We're so wonderful, but we got to go through such hard things. And one of my missions in life, other than tell some jokes share my love of nature. I want to make sure that no man ever goes through what I went through. And no ex-wife will ever be able to walk into a PhD and say, hey, we just want to reduce his, his time. We just don't, we need to play some ba basketball. He makes a lot of money. Can we have it? Uh, the law says, yeah, sure, just prove it with receipts. Well, she doesn't have to. And then three years later, my daughter has a birthday. And I can't even call her. And so, Skinner, I'm going to send this video to you. Or maybe Anna McKim out of Lubbock, who was the person who really helped my ex-wife do this. She helped him jump a Rule 11 and and I guess Anna McKim, I might need to hire Anna McKim because I need a federal lawyer to sue the city of Muleshoe for not enforcing 2503, citing gender as a federally protected status and, and, the, and the due process. And that I really just want to call my daughter on her birthday. But I don't know if the interlocutory order would allow that. Let me know, Skinner. Let me know. If I can do that. If not, K Bug, J Bug, happy birthday. And I would sing happy birthday to you. But man, being a Fibonacci is hard enough. We're beautiful, but we got to go through some shit to do it. There's a storm in Muleshoe. It ain't just the water. Mike Leach, Fibonacci, there's a disturbing trend. That's what's happening to men in civil and criminal cases. K-Bug, I love you so much. Think about you all the time. J-Bug, K-Bug, I love you so much.